you're watching news night time for sports now here's ferdinand duroha oh, thank you so much now let's go straight for some sports in news nigeria's sports fraternities morning following the death of former super eagles defender yisa shofolue at the age of 53. now the nigeria football federation confirmed that shofolue rated by many as one of the finest defenders in super eagles history passed away at the intensive care units of the lagos university teaching hospital now, he has been diagnosed, or he had been diagnosed a few days ago with cerebral atrophy. Sufalue, fondly called the Dean of Defense, had 40 appearances for the national team and scored once. Now, he was a member of the Eagles squad, which reached the finals of the 1984 and 1988 Afghan tournaments. Sufalue's death comes a few days after that of a former Nigerian international, Joe Eriko. And I'm now joined by Samson Siasser, former Nigerian international footballer coach, to discuss Yisa Shifulu's legacy. Hello, Samson, and uh, so good to indeed uh, see you. Now, another death of an ex-international just days after Joe Rico's. Now, you played with Yisa. Tell us about uh, this man. Well, Yisa is, a, is one of the quiet types now. He never bothers anyone. You know, he just plays and just, you know, is quiet, is effective, you know, defensive player. You can see how small Isa is, and you can't believe he's one of the greatest defenders in, in Africa, in the world. Uh, because he does his job, you know, quietly, no, you know, foul tackles. I don't, I, I never, I've never seen him have, have a yellow card since he's been playing, because he's so clinical. And, uh, you know, the shock of, you know, hear him dead, you know, it blows my mind. So, are we going to miss him? The problem is, you know, most Nigerians, ex-players, you know, haven't played for this country. We don't even bother about them. You know, until they die, then we start worrying about, you know, what's going on with their lives and all that. So, it's just, it's just a big loss for, for us going to ask well sadly Yisa took ill before his death and needed some form of assistance now how best do you think the country can help these uh, sports ambassadors who put the country on the international limelight well i don't think we have any sports ambassadors in, the, in this country they've never been treated well you know uh, all this the good time we had when we we're playing we brought a lot of joy to nigerians I'm talking about the government of Nigeria has not taken care of any ex-international. Keshi, Rashidi, Yakini. Even when you are alive, not to talk of when you're dead. You know, so it's never been good at all. Sometimes you regret, you regret playing for this country. You know, you have a lot of fans, you know, when you go into public places, they recognize you and all that. But, you know, actually helping people that have played for this country, you know, is ridiculous. No, no one, no one has done anything for any ex-player. I'll give an example. Since 94, our houses, up to today, they've not given any houses to any one of us. Maybe some of them, but not a lot of us, some of them have just died, you know, not knowing where these houses are. Since 1994, Nations Cup. They don't care. No, this country doesn't care about anybody. You know, they don't care about anyone. So you got to do your own part and just sit quietly, help yourself. And uh, just, you know, you, gotta, you have to deal with it. Let's uh, just, uh, you know, earlier today, well, while the minister indeed was uh, trying to eulogize, uh, he said now he talked about the fact that uh, he died when help was coming his way. Now, talk to us about some of those things that you definitely would want to see in terms of uh, the country appreciating some of these uh, ex-internationals and then, you know, everybody who's indeed represented Nigeria. Well, I've never seen which player they've uh, appreciated or been alive. What have they done for anyone that's actually played for this country? What? Mention one thing that I've done for anybody. Okoraji slumped and died how many years ago? What have they done for him? Nothing. Let me mention one thing they did for him or his children. Nothing. You know, it's just it's just so sad. If it was in England, America, and all that, your Hall of Fame, Hall of Famer, they would do something for them, you know. Well, I guess uh, we're not doing a good job as ex-players and all that. I guess that's why they don't, they don't take us, you know, like, you know, normal people. You play, I haven't played for this country, 
you stop playing, you know, they will ask you, what, what did you do with your money? You understand? They should have something like, you know, like a retirement, I don't know how you, I'm going to put it, something that, you know, every month is 5,000 naira or whatever, some st steppings for those that play. They do that in England. Fashion is taking 5,000 uh, uh, pounds every, every, uh, every week or every month because they played one time for England. Why can't we have things like that to help people that have played, you know, you know, have been played and uh, you know your station is very terrible. You can't even send your kids to school. We should have things like that. What are these young ones that, have, uh, that are looking up to us and see how we've been traded? How, how would they want to play for Nigeria? They bring players from, from, from England that couldn't play in the English team to come and play for Nigeria when we have our league here because it's not working now. We don't even know what to do about it. About well, it's just start, a shame, you know. Sam's saying. But then, uh, well, you talked about the young ones. Now, Yisa was a key figure in that squad that became the first Nigeria team to feature at a FIFA organized championship. Now, what can upcoming players learn from this uh, rear gem? The dean of defense, uh, you know, like uh, the late Ernesto Kunkwo would uh, call him. We call him the defense minister. If you, if you, I, I guess you've watched him play a couple of times. It's just, he's a wonderful player. He was a wonderful player, you know. And since, you know, he stopped playing, he's trying to give back to the youths and all. I've not seen one day that Issa has any problem with anybody. Not one person, not quarrels or anything, you know. But like you said, you know, we have to learn from all this, you know, what is going on with us. You know, we have to save. When you have money saved for your retirement and take care of yourself, because nobody's going to take care of you, not in this country. I don't care who you are; they'll never take care of you. They just keep saying all this, all this bullshit about uh, he was a hex player. What did you do for him? All what he has done. What 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 what, what has this? As Easter is gone now, nobody even call his family or ask how the kids are. So it's it's just a shame. That's all I can tell you. It's a big shame. I will definitely feel your pain, uh, Samson, and uh, we can only hope that, yes, that the right things will definitely be done to ensure that, yes, uh, our, our heroes are indeed remembered. Well, thank you so much, uh, Samson Siasia, ex-international, former captain of the Super Eagles of Nigeria, and then also, well, former coach of uh, Nigeria's uh, uh, Super Eagles, and then also not forgetting your achievements with the Dream Team.